Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Very well. Okay. Thanks. This is uh, an honor to be here today uh, among uh, all these specialists. And um, so I'm the founder and CEO of YouTube and Shield. Uh, we are based in Bio Biopol in uh, Lausanne, uh, Epalange, and also since May in Portugal. We develop a uh, e-health platform or digital health platform as a service for medical research. And we partner with uh, analog devices and Microsoft Azure. So we work on clinical trials and main issues today is, uh, of course, data collection and management, uh, limited patient participa participation, cost constraints, regulatory requirements, limited understanding of disease mechanism. 70% of potential participants live more than two hours away from a study center. And on the setup of clinical trial management, it's pen and paper communication during the clinical trials between researchers and participants. Uh, and it requires several different tools that are too complicated for new doctors and researchers to learn all of them. So Vitrium Shield is uh, all in, uh, in one platform. Uh, if we check the, the, the historic of clinical trials, we, we see that uh, uh, is it have a very short uh, story. So the first clinical trials started in, in before, uh, let's say in 1997, the first uh, clinical trials. And today is a huge market. Um, but uh, the, the, the new coming in here is the, the, the global virtual clinical trials market, uh, which uh, since the, the COVID, uh, it increased 90, 93%. Uh, in, in the virtual clinical trials to, on on the on today uh, on the world, um, as I said, this this is a nascent and growing industry with poor tooling, and um, studies show that we have this source of uh, McKinsey study that you see that uh, uh, majority believe that uh, all these services will increase. Uh, uh, this is uh, was made in UK, US, and France. And Vitruvian uh, follow or, or offers all these uh, services, so telemedicine consultation, remote patient monitoring, remote site initiation visits, electronic consent, electronic source data capture, and uh, electronic clinical uh, outcomes and patient report outcomes. So what we offer, and this is Vitruvian Shield is a product under development. We go to market in the August 2024. So what we offer is a clinical trial management system and a digital health dashboard. We can, uh, uh, those who want can see the video on the presentation that I, I sent to, um, to uh, Lavinia. And so what we intend is to offer uh, a tool that improve patient outcomes, enhance care coordination, drive efficiency and cost eff effectiveness. Sorry, foster medical research and innovation ensure data privacy and security and offers scalability on global expansions and of course uh, allows to partner and collaborate to foster knowledge with the, our main clients who will be uh, uh, academic hospitals. So what we offer is an API that allows to connect uh, with the external platforms or, uh, or uh, um, databases a web app, a mobile app, and the whole connected with a smartwatch fully developed by analog devices, which is our um, hardware partner. So we want to offer uh, the best tool to, to, to cover uh, the almost entire spectrum of clinical trials um, uh, since the fully decentralized to fully centralized. Uh, of course, uh, depending on pathologies, we cannot uh, cover all the spectrum. Uh, but we want to, in, in a few words, we want to digitalize uh, all the process uh, that we have today for a clinical trial and and, and put uh, uh, give the possibility to to make clinical trials with people at home, uh, especially with elderly people um, and chronic uh, uh, population. And uh, 
as you can see, uh, our main um, objective or use case is remote patient monitoring, decentralized clinical trials, and chronic disease data collection. Um, we want to help or to offer the tool to develop and implement AI models. Uh, and our main partners, our main clients, uh, first clients will be uh, worldwide um, university hospitals. And that uh, is the way, the best way to connect them and to also work with new hardware that they uh, also develop on, on, on different startups, on, uh, on different uh, medtech uh, centers that we also are on uh, and connecting now. So our customer segments, you can see here. Uh, which uh, which ones are, and uh, of course, what we want is to connect worldwide prestigious university hospitals and research institutions, and we have a specific and unique business model to to do that. Uh, so, as I said before, uh, we can offer this tool uh, for many different pathologies, uh, mainly to collect data representative data to work together to be able to question uh, the data worldwide without it infringing GDPR or HEPAA. Uh, and especially uh, when the, the, the academic institutions have developed AI models, we implement on the next version and we pay royalties to this, um, to this academic institution. So it's, uh, it's a win-win partnership. Uh, that we intend to create. And uh, of course, this is about TOT and hardware and, uh, um, and hardware, yes. So we offer the best of the two worlds, uh, partnering with analog devices, given access, give us access to state of art sensing hardware, but also to multiple wearable medical devices uh, before uh, anyone else. And that allows us to, to offer um, the most uh, optimal optimal uh, data collection with different devices uh, that we will implement on the next months and years. And also, of, also with Microsoft Azure, we follow all the, the issues that we can have or many, we, we cover all the main issues that we may have uh, on, on, on data collection and data management. We offer a, a mobile app also. Uh, and it will be upgraded, of course, but we intended to use the first use cases for research, um, uh, research mainly. And uh, we, again, we digitalize a lot of process that we can uh, allow to, to, uh, to um, interact with medication, with appointments, uh, and we can also uh, offer a, a specific sh uh, chatbots on the next version and, and to 2024 to allow to also help uh, also on on um, on the on the monitoring uh, <coughs> remote monitoring services so we also have video consultations and um, a lot of new services will be available uh, until end of uh, next year uh, we have a wizard for for uh, for the researchers to allow them to uh, to start a project from from zero, and uh, of course you can manage projects, researchers, laboratories, and uh, uh, and teams. Uh, also management the patients, uh, connect with API, uh, select or or ask some AI and analytics and some consultancy. And of course, electronic patients report outcomes will be available, electronic clinical outcome assessment and electronic case report form. All this is uh, intent to, uh, to be very customizable, uh, to fulfill all kinds of um, tr uh, trials or studies. And of course, we have uh, the raw data from the sensors and, uh, and you also have the vital signs that were, was extracted from the raw sensors data because on research, what we look for is raw data from the sensors. And the study uh, that we uh, mentioned here uh, shows that the main focus today is on, on remote patient monitoring telemedicine and telehealth services, uh, which bring us the patients to us and not uh, 
how to look for patients all the time. Uh, this is uh, a competitor analysis that we are uh, we have done um, to compare a little bit to what the three main uh, benchmarker uh, platforms offers and what we are under developing and also what we also already offer in terms of um, features uh, on our platform. So as again, we still under development, but we want to go to market, uh, uh, I can say August. This is our team. And uh, for me, I'm finished. Uh, I'm open to questions. Uh, thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you, Paula. Maybe I have a question in terms of the parameters you are recording um, because you, you mentioned you, you have um, both parameters coming from the phone, but also self-reporting. And uh, uh, so, you, so you, who's going to buy your uh, your device? It's uh, the, the patients at home um, that are then... Uh, um, referred by the clinician. Uh, so for me, it's, it's, uh, it's unclear. You're, you're collecting both objective digital data and also um, subjective this a, data? This is a, a B2B pro product. This is only for, uh, for the hospitals, laboratories, uh, or, uh, uh, yes, or, or uh, companies like Nestle who work on clinical trials or need to do clinical trials. So this is not the, for the, the 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 patient directly. This is a research tool mainly, and um, and uh, it also allows to do remote patient monitoring. So this is what uh, who gonna use uh, it first is academic, uh, uh, sorry, uh, university hospitals and uh, and laboratories and uh, companies like Nestle and, and others that uh, need to collect data and and do clinical trials. Okay. And for for neural, uh, our uh, first uh, uh, pathology that we're collecting data is epilepsy um, uh, because we have electrodermal activity, and uh, the idea is to add new other devices and uh, do clinical trials or decentralized clinical trials with different devices uh, worldwide that we can uh, input more data especially for focalized uh, epileptic seizures or another type of uh, very, very uh, difficult uh, seizures or, or events that are very hard to detect. So the idea is to collect more and more and more data and use this data and allow to a university or worldwide uh, to question this data without uh, having access to this data also. I see. Uh, so, from what I understand, uh, you also uh, tailor the uh, the metrics that you're collecting depending on the type of pathology uh, that is basically addressed during the clinical trial. Well, we we uh, have five sensors. So we have electrocardiogram for spot measurements uh, or for spot ECG measurements. Uh, we have a photoplethysmogram with four LEDs. So it is, uh, what we have on any Apple Watch or Garmin Watch is optical sensors. But the difference is that we have four different different uh, LEDs with uh, frequencies measurements uh, until 500 measurements per second. And, uh, and uh, an Apple Watch uh, is 50 uh, measurements per second, so just to give an idea. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, electrodermal activity. We have an accelerometer. We have a thermistor. And with a... Uh, with a with the PPG, we have two photodiodes. That means that we can collect both uh, two, twice uh, or four times more um, optical uh, signs than any other device in the world. But the idea is to uh, to input more uh, medical devices and others that are still under development and use that the platform also to test them and uh, to collect data that uh, can be useful. Uh, it also, our API allows to connect with existing platforms so that you, Hospitals have their platform. If they can input or want to input more data on their platform, they just have to connect with our API and do that. I see. So, so uh, from what I understand, you also sell currently 
the um, the hardware, the watch? No, our product is the platform, is the software. Uh, the device uh, is fully developed by analog devices, which is our partner. And this is uh, what we want is uh, to continue with analog devices and also to uh, embrace new uh, wearable devices that can uh, are going to the market, but only medical devices, not gadgets, uh, because gadgets you have a lot of uh, lot in the market. So, and the idea is to also are able to add other tools to also uh, add the ERI, uh, ERIM, sorry, and other types of um, of um, uh, health records. And but right now we are uh, focused on on the on the epilepsy, the first. Uh, First disease that we are focused on, but not only uh, because the idea is to offer the tool to uh, with uh, not only the tool but also the the study and the, the European financial or funds application uh, to do that, and we can do that for different uh, more than thousands of universities that we can contact at the same time and offer the tool the pack uh, the package so the tool mm -hmm. the, the the financial. Uh, application and, and the study that we uh, invite to, uh, hospitals to enter, and uh, and this is uh, only one type of uh, clients. Of course, we have uh, big food companies and laboratories that uh, also need a tool like this. And like I said before, uh, since COVID, decentralized clinical trials is is the solution to that fulfills uh, different needs. And if you have a rare disease and if you want to Collect that, and and if you have some some drug that you want to test, and you, you are far from the far from the 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 the, the, the country or, or the hospital that developed the treatment, you can do it at home. So this is uh, mm -hmm. um, this is uh, the way we want to go.